Hello there and welcome to our channel. We talk about science for kids. If you like to be a young scientist, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and bell down below. We will every week upload a new lesson for you. Hi kids and hope you're doing great. The purpose of this lesson is to help us understand the ratio. So, what you waiting for? I'd like to share another interesting lesson with you. This is Kate. Here she's between her parents. As shown, Kate's height is obviously taller than her mother's and smaller than her father's. As you saw, we compared three people's heights here. Ratios are used for comparing many things that can be measured. For instance, the apple tree in the garden produces much more fruit than the orange tree. As another example, our house's area is bigger than yours. Many examples can be used to demonstrate how ratios can be applied. In this comparison, it's important to notice that we are comparing two things that have measurable parameters. Many parameters can be used to describe something or someone, including their length, number, weight, area, volume, etc. In comparison with weight, we can say that he is fatter than she. Therefore, many examples and ratios can be used about it. Mathematicians use this concept to compare the amounts of several things. We use the previous section to introduce the question of how we compare things in maths. To answer this question, let's take a look in my little garden. I planted different types of flowers on it. Blue, pink and yellow flowers with two dry leaves are visible on it. It would be interesting to compare the number of different types of plants and see which type is more and which type is less. As an example, I like to compare blue flowers with pink flowers. So, the ratio of blue to pink flowers is what we are looking for. As you can see, we have 4 blue flowers and 3 pink flowers. Thus, blue and pink flowers have a 4 to 3 ratio. Mathematicians don't usually write it that way. There are other ways of writing it. In the first one, fractions are used to describe ratios. Accordingly, the ratio of blue to pink flowers is read as 4 to 3, but written fractionally. You should notice that it's not said 4 cents. Other ways of comparing plants in my garden are also possible. The ratio of pink to blue flowers also can be used as an example. As we counted blue and pink flowers before, it's not necessary to repeat that stage. So, the ratio of pink flowers to blue flowers is 3 to 4. Be careful, we don't say 3 fourths. In another example, we can find out the ratio of yellow flowers to doral plants. We start by counting the number of yellow flowers, which is 7. And write 7 up in front of the yellow flowers. Then we count all plants one by one and find there are 16 plants totally and write 16 down in front of the total plants. So the ratio of yellow flowers to total plants is 7 to 16. You can certainly find another ratio in my garden. As an example, I'd like to know the ratio of pink flowers to leaf and blue flowers. You already know that pink flowers are 3, leaves are 2 and blue flowers are 4. So, we write 3 up in front of pink flowers, then 2 leaves plus 4 blue flowers equals 6, and we write 6 in front of leaves and blue flowers. Therefore, the ratio of pink flowers to leaves and blue flowers is 3 to 6. After watching this video, write for us in the comment box, what's the ratio of blue flowers to pink and yellow flowers in this garden? I'll read and answer all the comments. See you soon and bye.